All right, hey guys. Um, I was able to identify what the problem was. I'm assuming this happened at Habitat. One of the um, blade screws actually fell in there. Um, got jammed up somewhere. And I also found out that... This is only flush mountable. I would have to get one of the, um, I'd have to get like a down rod or something for, um, actually, you know what, let me see, can I use a delta down rod? Uh, no I can't, it's only got, it only has three, th three screws. Alright, well. I guess I'll be flush mounting this fan. Hmm. All right, well, I'm glad I was able to identify the problem, so let's... Uh, I'll just... Uh, oh. Let me figure something out here. So now it should run just fine without anything getting in the way. See, and this is why I'm bench testing fans now instead of just throwing them up there and hoping for the best. Because at the store you don't always realize stuff like this. So yeah, I can't believe this little blade screw caused all that fuss. Uh, I will mention now that this is actually a 456 flywheel. Flywheel looks like this. This one looks strong as hell. No warpage whatsoever. Alright, very nice. So, um, yeah, I'm glad we were able to figure this out. So what I did was I just picked it up and just shook it like hell. And where is, oh, it's on, wait, where is it? Somewhere, oh, here, hot glue has come off, so I'm just going to have to re-glue that. No biggie. I was kind of hoping I'd be able to mount this on a down rod, because I don't like fans flush mounted, but I guess I don't have much of a choice at this point. Alright, well, that, that sucks. Oh well, at least I tried. Thanks for watching.